MSG. It is a controversial ingredient, but the people that have tried it loved it, especially this guy. And I'll tell you one thing, I've done quite a few experiments with it, and 99% of the time it just improves the food. So today I thought, we're gonna go a little bit extreme and see how much we can push it. And in order to run this experiment, I'm gonna be using these four beautiful steaks. As you can see, they are New York Strip, choice great and perfect for today's experiment. One important thing whenever you're cooking sous vide, always make sure to get a nice thick steak. The first thing to do is to get them seasoned. For that, I kept it real simple. A good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. And since we have four of them, this is how this experiment is gonna go down. The very first one is gonna be pretty simple. I'm going to be using it as a control of MSG. I just added a normal amount and made sure to season all sides. As now, I went ahead and jumped to the second one. So I immediately threw it in the bag and started to add a good amount of of MSG. To be specific, the entire bag. Now this is either gonna make this steak taste really good or a complete disaster, but I cannot wait to see what's gonna happen to the steak. I went ahead and vacuum sealed it and immediately jumped into the other ones. With these two, nothing is gonna happen to them right now. So I also went ahead and vacuum sealed them and into the water bath they go at 135 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. This will cook them to perfection. As that was happening, it was perfect because it allowed me time to go ahead and make a compound butter. Which, by the way, it is super simple. We just have butter, a good amount of MSG on top, mix everything well to combine these ingredients, and there you have it. Now, if you ever wanted to enhance the flavor of your butter, this is the way to do it, friends. As now that I have this ready and my steaks are still cooking, it was perfect because it allowed me time to go ahead and make an incredible side dish. Now, this one is extremely popular in Colombia. I was recently there and had a blast. Now, I'll tell you one thing. This is one of the most flavorful things I've ever made in my life. The first thing I chose was some chorizo. These are called shistora, but if you don't have them available, you can use any one you like. I went ahead and chopped them up, small, just like this. Then into the pan they go. We wanna cook them up until we start getting a little bit of color. Keep the pan under medium-high heat. As then, I added some red bell peppers, followed by scallion, a little bit of garlic, and mixed everything well. I wish you could smell it. I'm telling you, friends, this is really delicious. But we're not done yet, because now it was time to add a good amount of rice, stir everything around, then you wanna go ahead and add some water. Mix everything well and bring it to a simmer. Cover the whole thing up so that the rice can cook. Because after about 20 minutes, take a look. This is the filling. And I'll tell you one thing, just the smell alone will get you. Imagine an extremely flavorful risotto. That's what this tastes like. But we're not even done yet. The next thing we're gonna need is this, which is pig skin. You can easily get it from your butcher, or whenever you buy pork belly, just remove it. We're gonna put it to a much better application than just cooking it by itself. Now this is necessary. Butcher's twine and a meat needle. In case you are wondering, I just got it in Amazon and the link will be in the description down below for you. And here's the next thing we gotta do. Go ahead, fold the whole thing in half and start sewing it. You gotta go here as slow as needed. The important thing here is to close it up and make it really tight. And at the same time, use one long string. That way it's gonna be really easy to take it off when everything is cooked. Talking about that, once I was done, take a look. We got a nice little pig pocket. Now, all there's left to do is to stuff it all up as much as possible, then go ahead and close the whole thing up. Because once I was done, check this out, it is now ready to be cooked. But there's one more important step, especially if you want everything nice and crunchy, and that is to go ahead and add a good amount of salt right on top because the next step is to go outside and cook it on the smoker. We wanna keep it at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Now you have to be patient because it's gonna take about an hour. As once it's done, take a look. Now that is something you do not see every day. It is extremely crunchy with an incredible flavorful feeling. The only thing left to do is to go ahead and open it up. And once it's done, take a look. And if you wanna try something new, I highly recommend giving this a go because remember, you can use any type of filling you like and I cannot wait to find out how it's gonna pair up with our steaks. Talking about that, by this time, they were all fully cooked. So I went ahead and opened up the bag, and oh boy, the MSG one is just absolutely insane. And since it already did its job, I went ahead and removed all of the excess. Pat it dry really good, because I know exactly what you're thinking. My steaks don't look that good right now, but watch this. All 
right, everybody. And here we got our beautiful steak with a very interesting side dish, gentlemen. What do you guys think? You know, my favorite types of videos are the videos when there's four steaks on the table. <laughs> yeah, I could agree with that one. What do you think about this, though? I'm curious. This looks like Leatherface on the end over here. That's exactly the point. <laughs> Google, I'm gonna be honest. I'm sure it's gonna be delicious, but it looks weird. It looks very weird. It looks a little bit scary. I don't know if you would do it, but it's a little bit, uh... Is that rice? Yeah, and other things. You probably added some weird Google twist to it, though. Google twist is here. Oh. All right, Yo, Uncle Roger is all over this video today. Oh boy. MSG, baby. Oh. I want to see how much MSG you can taste. Are we going to get tested to our limits? 110%. Oh man. Enough talking, let's give it a try. We'll start this direction. Dig in, gentlemen. All right, well, let's see if they taste as good as they smell. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. I know it sounds weird, everybody, but I haven't had a steak in a while, and that is Amazing. It's been a while for me too. This is a classic sous vide steak, baby. I mean, you got that tenderness that you just come to expect from sous vide at this point. That juice bursts out and it's always delicious. I gotta say, Google, perfectly seasoned. I taste a little pepper, a little, a little salt, a little garlic powder, you know how it is. And honestly, it's what we expect here on sous vide. That's the thing, guys. If you mess up a sous vide steak, you should seek some help. Okay? Seek help. Stop it. Get some help. But you're right, that is the control steak. Let's jump onto the next one. Dig in, please. Smell it and tell me if there's any difference. I think it smells the same. It just smells like a damn good steak. Well, let's find out if it tastes any different. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh. Yeah, more bold. So much better, God <laughs> damn, that's good. That is amazing, everybody, wow. Dude, the thing that's awesome about this steak is perfectly seasoned, perfectly cooked, plus the MSG. It's awesome. If you've never experienced MSG, here's the thing. Not only you have more of an intense flavor of whatever it is that you put it on, but it also lingers in your mouth. It is amazing, everybody. I love MSG because it really highlights the best parts of the steak, right? You taste extra beefy, but I can also taste that crust a little bit more. Like everything that you love about a steak just gets intensified with MSG. Honestly, amazing. Is this steak better than the first one? 100%. Yes. Yeah, no question. Very good. So it is an improvement. We definitely like it better. But now let's try the next one. I'm curious. Oh, go, go. I think it's uh, time for a little palate cleansing. Oh, a little palate cleansing. Oh, you eh? want to try the leather face? Yes, yes. It's literally pork skin with a very flavorful filling. I hope the Ooh, audience can hear that. It's crunchy. Listen to this, everybody. That smells so damn good. Enough talking, let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Literally the perfect chicharron. That is so good. It's a crisp. This tastes so good, I would have thought the MSG was in the side dish. It tastes like a paella wrapped in a pork rind. And you know what I like that I think is so creative and so unique is that the rice is very flavorful, but it's not too salty. And you get the saltiness from the crust of the pork rind and it balances out the flavor so beautifully. Not super juicy, but it's so flavorful, I don't even care. My Colombian friends, this is a 10 out of 10, we'll highly recommend. Yes. Now, I will say one thing. He's a paint maker, buddy. <laughs> it's a little bit of work. I did say on the video, you know, today we're gonna make a ridiculously easy side dish. <laughs> but now, let's go to the next steak, yeah? No strange smells here, but I think I can smell some butter. Enough talking, let's give it a try and find out. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Wow, that is strong. That is a powerful tasting steak right there. I think me personally, I'd probably go for steak number two. I just feel like steak number two hit a really good spot. Wow, I enjoyed this one quite a bit. I'm not gonna lie. It tastes fantastic, tastes delicious. However, yeah. it seems like the flavor is a little bit less than the previous one. And I think I understand the reason why. This one, the MSG went deeply inside. This one here, the MSG is just on the surface area. Uh, That's what that is. I was gonna say, I do taste something a little bit different on the crust of the steak. There's almost like I can get like a crystallized Butter. Yeah, but you can tell yes. there's something in the butter. It, it's a little bit weird. And for that reason, I'm gonna go with steak number two so far. So putting it before cooking it with MSG so far is better. But now let's go for our final steak. You guys ready? Is this the final boss of MSG? Absolutely, 100%. Let's go, dig in. Enough talking, let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Damn, Google. <laughs> that was too much. 
Too much what? MSG. Like, I feel like there was 70% MSG uh. and 30% steak. Hey, you need to chill out with MSG, my bro. Yo, well, come on, Uncle Roger told me to do it. Have mercy, bro. I think that that is not a good steak. The point is that it's just way too powerful. Don't be afraid to use MSG. Use it cautiously. But the second steak is the best. Do we agree? Yeah, yes. Just use the right amount. However, I think the real start today that side dish, I'm gonna destroy this when we turn the camera on. Leatherface, everybody. Leatherface Leather face. is great. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe. Remember, everything I use is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.